Hey y'all, and thanks for dropping by Design by Kathy. Well, you guys asked for it, and so today I'm gonna to show you how to do a reverse canvas. You can create, take your, your project to a whole different look, level, or step, or whatever you prefer, or whatever you have in mind for your, uh, your art project. And it's pretty cool and pretty fun, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So let's get right to it. So this was a little project that I did by f my first uh, reverse canvas. Um, the, in this case, I took the can took the canvas off, I painted it, and then I painted my frame, and then reattached it to the back. So that's this one. So what I want to show you, since you all you know all of us are obviously doing fluid art projects, is I have this canvas. This is one I don't know when I did a while back, but you know, it's it's pretty cool looking, but I think that, you know, I'd like to take it to a different look. So what I wanna do first is, you're gonna either take a, uh, uh, well, I don't know what, this is just a, a you know, one of those Swiss Army type knife things. You can use an X-Acto knife. Um, I, for me, I have arthritis. I can't seem to apply enough pressure with the exacto knife so i'm going to use this little knife now uh you can see where the staples are in here now you could should you want to go and take all of these staples out that also especially uh if you're like me and deal with any kind of arthritis that is not an easy thing to do not for me anyway so i'm going to cut just the other side all the way down of these staples and I'm anxious to see, I've been wanting to do this anyway, so I'm so glad that uh, that you all, you know, wanted to see how to do it because I've been wanting to see what it would, how it would work to take a finished pour and to use this process. So I was pretty excited about this myself. So as you can see, I've just cut, you know, go back, you know, anywhere you miss little spots and just cut your, cut your canvas away from the board just the other side of your staple. And I try to get, you know, just to have a little extra room, which you're, you're gonna be cutting it all off. It's not gonna be seen, you know, to cut as close to that staple as I can get. Again, your X-Acto knife, craft knife, anything will work fine for me. I just can't do the hand pressure with the X-Acto knife. Where's the... As you can see, sometimes I'm having a little bit of trouble putting enough pressure using this, but I really just couldn't do it with the other one. No. Going back, just going back around in little places that I didn't get all the way through the paint and the canvas and removing it. Now, 
totally removed my piece from the back of the canvas. And then we're going to flip it over and voila, we have a cool looking frame. Now, I'm probably am gonna get these out, but what I wanna show you first is because it comes with, and I hope that you can see, comes with these, and I think these are the, well, I'm gonna say stretcher, little stretcher areas, but I don't want those to show. So I'm gonna take uh, some wood filler, stainable and paintable wood filler, and I'm gonna just come in here and fill my, fill those little spots. You could use caulk or whatever kind of wood filler you have or that you can snitch from your husband. These are pretty deep on this particular one. I might wanna use some caulk. And this inside here is not gonna matter. I'm gonna be painting over it. I just want it to have a nice, smooth, frame-like look. Well, because it is a frame. We've got these two more little areas here. Squishing that down in there. I want to make sure it's in there really well so I don't have a, I don't want it to sink in and leave a, an attractive spot. Now, once you get ready to paint it, you can paint it with whatever kind of paint you desire. You can paint it with your acrylic paints. Uh, you can put um, spray paint. whatever you desire there. I'm probably gonna use some spray paint. I like, just because I know it will cover well, I think I have a gloss black that I think would look really pretty on this particular frame. I've got a few little rough places. I'll probably take some, just take some light sandpaper, go over the little rough edges. They're just very few, but. Okay, I'm gonna go, um, hit it with the sandpaper and then some spray paint and we'll come back and put it together. I've put some, uh, a coat of uh, spray paint on, on the frame. I sanded down, you know, my little rough places in the edges here and took out the staples that were somewhere here and uh, put a little filler in where I had messed them up getting the staples out. But anyway, put a coat on. It's still a little sticky, but in the interest of time and, uh, running out of time for running out of time for today and daylight outside to do any more <laughs> spray painting, I want to go ahead and show you how to complete this project. So we've got our pour that we did on the on the canvas to begin with. I'm gonna flip my frame over. And then I'm gonna lay it on like this. Now you're gonna see there's gonna be a lot of overhang here. That's fine because we're going to get rid of that. I'm gonna turn it back over, make sure it's all laid out flat, kind of where I want it, everything to be in the, inside the canvas. 
And then, let's see, you, you can see, oh, really sticky there. See on your edge how far you have to go over. And then I'm gonna not talk and have to mute this because this is kind of loud when you start, when we start stapling. You can, but you can feel where your, uh, your board is, your, your frame in there. I make sure it still looks, you know, we don't have anything to line up to be straight, but I still want it, I don't want any bubbles or whatnot. I don't want it to be straight and pretty smooth. So I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna pull it as tight as I can over here and feel where your frame is. Okay, so we've got, then I'm going to do the same thing with the top and bottom. Now, since this is a you know lot larger frame, I'm going to come back and I want to secure from the corners and a couple of places along the sides. So I'm going to start with my corner. Same thing. I'm going to pull as tight as I can there. Find where your frame is. Gonna check, make sure everything is looking looking nice in there. I'm gonna add a couple more on each side. I'm really glad y'all couldn't see the face I was making. Every time I, the stapler goes off, I think I wince and squint. <laughs> uh, this, this is just a little cheap, inexpensive, inexpensive little uh, staple gun that I got off Amazon. Link is down below. I didn't want to invest in a, you know, I didn't want to invest in a real expensive one to see how it was going to work. But as it turned out, it worked just fine. So now I'm going to take just take scissors, cut off the excess, you know, up to where my staples are. And there we have our framed artwork now. <clears throat> Gives it a totally different look, totally different kind of vibe. You know, this frame clearly, it looks like I'm gonna need to sand it down and do some touch-ups on it, but I was trying to go ahead and not to space out too long in between the periods of trying to finish this video up for you guys. But this is, this is it, and I think it looks pretty, pretty cool. Said I'm gonna go back, I can feel a little rough. I'll just come back and sand over that. That's not a big deal, just sand over it. Uh, what I'm gonna suggest, um, and I had someone ask this question about, uh, she had done a dirty pour on the can, just the, can, the canvas sheets, and her canvas rolled up. Um, I haven't heard back from her to see if she tried to straighten it out. Now see, this is pretty flexible, you know, after this is completely dry and everything, and you saw how easily that came off, 
Um, I don't know how thin those sheets are. I don't know that that'd just be something to experiment with. So I would say do your pour, if you wanna do it as a pour and the frame, do your pour first, um, then take your canvas off and do your frame. Now, if you're gonna do a project, this was something else and you can check out how to do this kind of stuff on the, um, down below the uh, Chalk Couture, which, uh, or my other video, which I have started is Chat and Chalk with Kathy, and this is Chalk Couture, but I also did this with this frame. I didn't have my putty then, and I've got some touch-ups that I need to do clearly on my frame, but it was an experiment. I was anxious to try it and see how it looked, so that's where we went with that one. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this and got something out of it, um, and I hope that you'll try it again behind these. It is a frame. It's not a, a gallery you know, super nice frame, but it certainly is an awesome way to make your your painting look different. Uh, if you feel like it just needed something else, you know, added to it, or for whatever reason you may have, I think it's pretty cool to have the option to do this. And that is my simple, simple way, my little knife, or again, I said, use a, an X-Acto knife, whichever works better for you. Cut close to the original staples underneath and take your you know, it's gonna just come right off. You're gonna have a lot of excess. So it's not like you're trying to, you're not gonna cut into what's gonna go inside here. In other words, inexpensive uh, staple gun that worked just fine. Um, anyway, it's a pretty fun and cool little way to do something a little different. Thanks for watching everybody. And I certainly appreciate your likes, shares, comments. Thanks for requesting uh, for me to do this, this uh, show you how to do this. And if, if I missed anything, didn't cover anything, and you've got any more questions on the reverse canvas, please don't hesitate to ask. Again, thank you for your thumbs up. That means a lot to me, your likes, shares. And if you're just dropping by, hey, I hope you'll subscribe and keep up with us too. So everybody have a great day.